Yo, what the deal, man? It's yours truly, Stewie. J. Nix Fly's got on the radio, man. As you know, you know what I'm saying? We always trapping out the trap house, you know, big dog status, doing what we want to do, having our way. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? We having our way in the Bronx. Yeah. We having our way in New York. Yeah. It's going down, man. It's a lot going on. Mr. Yeah. Gray's in the building, ladies and gentlemen. Tell me how, well, okay, first of all, what is Gallus? What is that? Explain that to me. A Gallus, in a nutshell, is, you know what I'm saying, somebody who's good with the gal them. You know okay. what I'm saying? Mine will have... Beer gal, enough gal. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That means you got to some, the point. That, that sounds like promiscuous mm. man. That's a man that just has a lot of women. You know, you know what's so crazy too? Because I had said that in a um in a in the genius interview because it was frying me. I don't know if y'all saw it. It was frying me on Twitter the other day because I had tried to put it on the watered down version. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying I was like somebody with just a good vibe that everybody wants to be around. The Caribbean community it's fried me. It's over. You just gotta you just gotta just gotta say what it is. It's over. So go ahead and say what it is. It's, it's what it is, man. Just a gal. <laughs> my mind will have beer gal. You heard that's it. You hearing this song? You, you know what I'm saying? Context clues and all that. So tell me, growing up, man, in New York, Bronx. That's you. That's definitely. Um, I got friends, big friends in New York. Y- y'all have a different uh, community because there's so many different races and mixed people and mm-hmm. just culture. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Yeah. So, Uptown is like little. That's like little Jamaica, but then it's like also like. Some parts of it is like little Dominican Republic. Like mm-hmm. you just you're, it's you get you get a lot of just different cultures and stuff like that. You get a lot. I feel like I'm blessed to even be from that part of town where it's like I'm getting to learn so much about different foods, different styles of doing music, all that. It's just a vibe in New York. I love it. So how long have you been doing music actually? Um, I mean that's a broad question because I'm a musician. I got the right. cheat code. Like I'm okay. an organist and all that. So it's like. Seven, eight, I've been playing beer. Like Drums, church. guitar. Yeah, church. nah, where? The Chico. Going crazy. Mm-hmm. That's a different type yeah. of music. Mm-hmm. And then like 15, 16, I started being behind the scenes with the production and stuff because that's when I fell in love with hip hop more. Mm. So then I'm trying to marry the musicianship side of things with the sampling and everything that I loved in hip hop. So that's where you get gallus because even though I'm like, even though there's the samples and all that stuff like that, I'm, I'm singing, singing on that bitch. You know what I'm saying? We, you know what I'm saying? So you're a whole different problem. These folks don't even know what's going on. They understand now. They starting. They starting to get the picture. But yeah, nah. They, they, they I, I don't think. I don't see. Sometimes little I feel like little. people might know, but considering it's just we just watched the video. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You told me you, you said you have to see this because this is something that I'm an R&B singer, and this looks like a rap video. The, you, the whole city's out for for an R&B song. Mm-hmm. Yeah, how, nah, it was how? straight love. It was straight how, love. How how did this happen? Um, we just sanctioned. You gotta understand. We like. We're, <laughs> I'm just. You know what I'm saying? I've been outside for so long and all that. You know what I'm saying? past music and all it's just you know we just got the city it's all good energy it's good vibes in the city whenever we you know what I'm saying but see, you, you, you're being <laughs> humble man what's the method to the madness man this is an R&B song you're in the streets you got folks dancing the whole hood out it's packed the subways come on man it gotta be more than that like how did this song nah, come about it's not bro? you like, already alright so how did this song come about it was in the trap I made the beat because, you know what I'm saying, being outside, you hear back that ass up outside, and it's, that song by itself is a cheat code. You right. want to get shorties off their asses, you want to get, you know what I'm saying, you want to get Juvenile, what up? Come on. Big Juvie. Shout out to Juvenile, shout out to Manny Fresh, you know what I'm saying, that's the part that I sample. Yo, shout out to Manny Fresh for for, for going crazy, because I saw the, the deconstruct with how he made the um the, the original joint that I sampled. Uh-huh. Those was calls that he was playing, I even know you was like that for real, so shout out to you. But, um yeah, now, nah, once you play that in the club, it's... It's already pandemonium in the club. So now, with me loving hip hop so much, and the whole the idea of taking one moment and flipping it, chop it into a whole next vibe, and giving the we just gave back that ass up another twenty years. Mm. And then this song, so is a, like, this song is a minute and forty. Minute, in and minute, out. Minute and forty five. Yeah. So in and explain out. explain how you wrote this record because uh, people don't know if they don't know you you are a songwriter you are a producer yeah. you do this this is not no situation where you just sitting down just first take shot and let me just do what I want I'm you putting time into this effort yeah. you, the way you explain this record to me and how it is is you said it's a it's different moments you it's took, just a series of moments come like on, a explain DJ that, explain that. so like if you're at a club the DJ is providing. Different moments. He's not playing the song straight out where you're hearing the hook twice and all this and all that. You're playing the best moment of each song. And in that tempo, you're switching it to the next vibe mm. and you're trying to keep that energy going. So like with what I did with Gallus and with a lot of my music, I'm just trying to create this 
a whole series of moments until the song done. And I, so a lot of times I might even leave the song with a clip with cliffhanger, like on the um, on the Gallus joints, the life of a Gallus, and you're just there, like, like what's what's next? Wait, what happened? Did the music cut off in the club? <laughs> Is did what happened in the club? Yes, run it back once more. That's where we at with it. Absolutely. So now I'm really intrigued because I'm I'm looking forward to this album that you're working on because if this is what you're doing as a, and you call this song a freestyle and it's doing numbers like this, mm. I can only imagine what the album sounds like. Yeah, nah, it sounds like New York City. So this is this is what. But you I, you can't say it sounds like New York City because it's an R&B song. How does that sound like New York City? You gotta understand, even with all right. So boom, first of all, come on, take me that, bro. Come on. First of all, with with R and B, we're pushing. I feel like we're pushing the culture forward with this tape because we're writing now how we talk. I feel like R and B is moving in a nice space right now. Definitely, I'm not gonna lie. That. We're writing more how we talk as opposed to a whole bunch of you had my heart and you had it from the start. Come on, now. come on, talk to me. You know what I'm saying all that. Because now we're right. Rappers always been honest in their music. Yeah. They've been talking crazy for decades. Super crazy. And now that with R and B, now we're starting to do that more. I want people in with this album. I want people in Arkansas and Idaho and Milwaukee. All them, you know what I'm saying? Tell all me. the miscellaneous. <laughs> I want all of them to be listening to this album and say, Yo, I want to go to Uptown. I gotta see what's going on up there. I want to go to New York. I want to see what that energy like. Cause this is crazy. I want people to watch the video and say, No, we gotta go to New York. No, no, it's. it's I don't know what's going on. This summer we gotta go. Like that's what I'm trying to do. I feel like hip hop is at a better place when, when you know what I'm saying. When New York is on their bully and we moving, you know what I'm saying. I feel like now we had a, we had a good. The energy in hip hop is nice right now. But see, like I said, I keep telling you again, it's different. Mm -hmm. Because at this point, one of the biggest songs in New York is an R and B song. Mm -hmm. this the biggest is not, songs of hip hop. You know what I'm saying? I remember when Fat Joe Ling back came out and all those records, like big records. But this is an R and B song, bro. Mm -hmm. I, I don't even know. We're making the gangsters singing stuff. Because to be honest, all right, first of all, you know what's so crazy? In the club, right? Because I know I don't know if there's any DJs in here, but if you be outside, you kind of know. Right. If you play back that ass up, it's a movie. Right. Another song that goes crazy. I'm talking amongst all gangsters and all that. Fantasia, when I see you. Yeah. Hey, everybody want to sing. The gangsters want to sing again. You know what I'm saying? It's a vibe. So Mary when you got J, something Mary J. that, Blatt, Mary J. Yep, Mary J. On, yeah, bro, they they, they want to sing. Even all the, no matter how hard you are, whatever like that, you want to sing now. So now I picture you singing, and and the song that you sing along to, you talking spicy. Mm, it's just the vibe. I'm that guy. Yeah, talk yeah, crazy. But yeah. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, sing it to Shorty though. Sing it in front of her. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to we're trying to bring people. Off the walls, like we're not just flashing in the club. We're not just showing off how much money we got. We're not just showing off our fit. Grab yeah, a shorty, get, catch a vibe. You know what, right. what I'm saying? Even if it's not a wine, just catch a vibe. That's it. You right. know what I'm saying? That's what we at with it. That's what we doing with this album. We pushing the culture forward. We bringing that essence back. I'm a musician, so I'm cheating. I'm bringing all the musicianship Stop back playing. into it. I'm bringing all the sampling back into it. It's gonna be crazy. This is this R&B album is gonna be important to hip hop. Mm, important to hip hop. You talking real, real big right now. Yes, sir. It's That's necessary. real, real big talk right now. You mm -hmm. you just said R this R and B album is gonna be important to hip hop. To hip hop. That's some shit. Right. I feel like coming into this game, you have to believe in it first. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you gotta be this. You can't just come with a, just a happy to be here energy because I'm grateful to be here for right. sure. But it's like you know what I'm saying. I got a I got a I got a city behind me. Right. You know what I'm saying? And it's one of the most gritty cities. Oh, you know what I'm saying? I gotta right. make sure that we represent the right way and that they. You know what I'm saying? They got somebody to root for. That's that's really here. You know what I'm saying? We outside. So tell me this. Extra producers on the album. Is this all your production, or are you 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 joining forces with any big producers or what? What's, what what we doing? Ju no, um, mm. it's me. And the gang. If anything, I'm gonna have, <laughs> I'm gonna have and people gang. in gang producing, but I feel like I'm not gonna put somebody on the album because they have I don't wanna sound disrespectful to any, you know what I'm saying? Right. There's no I don't care how many plaques you had in the past, nothing or any of that. Cause that the plaques the plaques don't move the people. Right. To be honest. I just want really good music and I want people that's gonna understand the vision that I have for this project and it really do be a whole bunch of New York niggas. So if there's people Outside, you know, that it makes sense for, if they're setting the right pack and it's just the right undeniable beat, then of course. But otherwise, I don't mind keeping it right in the family because, you know what I'm saying, so far we ain't missed yet. It ain't working. How many features are on this album, man? I mean, like, what, what, can you give me give me some scoop? All right, I need some hits, um, hits up. Like, what, what's going on? Like, who? So who? It's, it's weird because we're still, I'm still developing the album now because I, I get inspired every day. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, even when it comes to features, there's been so many people reaching out, trying to get parts of it or whatever like that. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. You know what I'm saying? Okay, all okay. I know is, all I know is, <laughs> yeah, I'm talking the, the, from the intros because 
I'm I'm a student of hip of hip hop right. first before anything. I'm talking the Biggie albums with all the skits and all this Come stuff. On, like stop that. I was laughing in between songs. I was learning stuff in between songs. I, the intro gave me goosebumps before I even got to listen to the official track one. I, mm. I can't even get past the intro. Three days on just the intro, running it back. I can't get past the outro. We can't. I can't even end the album. That's what I want. Mm. That's what I want. I want people to get back into listening to, not well, at least my generation. I want to reintroduce the idea of listening to full bodies of work, start to finish. Mm. Don't listen to when I drop. Don't listen to it real quick and pass it down with the speakers. It. Sit the fu- sit down. <laughs> you <laughs> and your people. Sit the fuck down. Yeah, nah, for real. And relax and just you and your people. I want y'all to have almost like have a throw a little get together. Just listening to the album or something like that. Digest it for real because we got some shit to say. I had quite the rookie season. I'm gonna be talking about all of it on the album. Come on, man, stop playing. I'm out. You just. I'm excited. I'm excited. Yeah, when does the album come out again? Let me let me set my calendar. Yeah, <laughs> terribly soon. I'm gonna. I'm you gonna be the first to know, but just stop terribly soon. It'll soon man. come. Well, definitely, King. I, I feel the energy. I'm excited. You know what I'm saying? There ain't too yes, many sir. people I interviewed. I'd be like, okay, I'm ready to hear what the hell he talking yeah. about because he talking real big, real spicy, spicy shit yes, right sir. now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But salute to you and Thank everything you, you got going on. <laughs> The biggest guy in New York is an R&B guy. I never thought I would ever say that in hip-hop. But listen to him. He says he's the biggest guy in hip-hop. Yes, sir. That's an R&B singer. Hail him from the Bronx, man. Salute to you, King. Yeah, Keep well, going. I appreciate you again. From a gallus to another gallus. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We outside. Let's yes, go down, sir. man. Big Stewie. Trapping in the Trap House Dirty Daily. You dig? Love. Thank you again, my brother. Next, where you at? We waiting on you at the trap. You already know. We trapping at the Trap House. Trap, 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 trap,